The mystery of Elvis Presley's movies missing from streaming platforms is a curious conundrum that feels like a modern-age jailhouse rock kind of rebellion. Here's the scoop as I've heard it in Portland, nestled in my rain-soaked abode, sipping on some Stumptown coffee. First off, we've got to understand the complexity called rights and licensing agreements. These are like a Gordian knot of legal texts that often dictate where and how content can be shown. Elvis's cinematic adventures aren't immune to this bureaucratic tangle. Different movies have different rights holders, which means negotiating streaming permissions is as complex as trying to untangle your earbuds after they've been sitting in your pocket for too long. And just like we've moved away from wired headphones, the entertainment industry has migrated to streaming. But the laws haven't quite caught up. Another point to consider is the era in which Elvis's films were made. We're talking about an epic when the thought of streaming was as alien as Elvis shaking his hips on national TV was scandalous. The contracts penned back then didn't account for the possibility of the internet, much less the streaming wonderland we roam today. Now let's factor in Elvis's undying allure, a brand that's as iconic as Mount Hood is to Portland's skyline. The custodians of the King's estate want to ensure his material is handling with the reverence it deserves. Tack onto that high demand and the potential for significant profits, and you wind up with a caution that might slow down the journey to Streamingville. However, the plot thickens when we consider the Warner Brothers factor. They've got a lock on a good chunk of Elvis's film library. They could be strategizing on how to best capitalize on this content, or they're wrapped up in negotiations that have more secrecy than an FBI file on UFO sightings. So why aren't Elvis Presley movies on streaming platforms? It's a medley of outdated contracts, legal red tape, and strategic planning by the rights holders. Keep your blue suede shoes ready, though, because it's only a matter of time before the king enters the digital building in a big way. In the meantime, we could all take a leaf out of Elvis's book, step away from the screen, and maybe indulge in a little less conversation and a little more action. Like taking a stroll down the verdant paths of Forest Park, or any local haunt that captures your fancy. Sometimes, in our rush to stream culture, we forget to appreciate the natural streams running through our own backyards.